。哎，我想补充一点，又讲到电影了，因为电影呢是一个综合艺术，它这是不受这个国界的这个限制。也许某个阶段，呃，人们的感受，啊，包括这个社会给予的是不同的感受，因为毛泽东时代，那是一个体现民族，所以说对于印度历史啊、印度文化，包括印度民族英雄，比如甘地啊这些，过去的尼赫鲁总理和我们国家的时候外交的活动，当时。Firstly, I wanted to address the issue of the West. In China,、um, there is no foreign culture that is as important as the West. So it is either China West or East and West. But、um, uh, in popular imagination, we've forgotten there is actually another West which everybody speaks about all the time in China, which is the West Heavens. And、uh, of course, the West Heavens was the old Chinese name for India, where the sutras came from. Chinese people think of India as the land of Buddha, but、um, of course it is 2,000 years past. But what is important in China today is really the intellectual life, the vigor, and the relevance of Indian contemporary thought, which is sorely lacking in China. The interest in contemporary thought is practically exclusively directed at Western intellectual thought. Citizenry, 1989 film. This is something that an ideal propaganda film really want to achieve, but they can hardly achieve. First, I just watched the one or two films, and then I found that there have got a, a lot of work to watch those films, to discuss with them, and actually you discuss about our issues. It's like that. The term for film in Mandarin is Tian Ying. It translates into English as "electric shadow," a very visual term that conjures early cinema. These shadows contain the history of a culture, often dominated by mainstream narratives. But there are always smaller, independent voices within, which talk of subtle nuances. Then, 但是我我在看印度片子的时候，会其实会会一个对照，就是拿国内的电影和印度电影对照，但我就觉得，我就觉得是比不上，就说比不上，而且是国内的很多电影，我是有点 ，OK OK， 我是有点就是看不起，说老实话，看不起，我我觉得很多不是为了电影在拍电影的很多。What is crucial, I think, to this entire India-China exchange is this idea of a memory, as against certain kind of an amnesia, you might say, about that particular history. And I'm interested in the way that moving images from both these countries are able to open up a history, almost unknown to themselves. I think the iconic image of the Chinese in India, globally as well, was created by Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was, in a way, the first star to emerge from Hong Kong, and stood in, in a way, for everything that was Chinese, right, and cinematic terms.
critical moment for me is VCDs and DVDs. Uh, I remember the excitement around Wonka Rai because, uh, you know, this was also a period of time where VCDs weren't copyable. And most of the times you never even encountered these films at first glance. You only heard about them. Someone who had been to a festival came back very excitedly talking about this new filmmaker, Wonka Rai, and about Happy Together. And then you itched to see the film. And finally, when you saw the film, it kind of blew you in terms of what he was doing with cinema.